Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going to a Goodwill. We're going to take the whole family and uh, we're going to go see what we find. Abercrombie and Fitch perfume. This might actually be worth it, but they want $10 for that. $10, Casey. It's got an attachment with it. $4.99. So, me and Casey just found this. It's a Kilner Butter Churner. Eight bucks for it. Next thing we got was these Nike Haraches. These are $7.99. We're gonna go ahead and pick these up. So we found a couple of shirts. I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you. I moved away from the clothes rack, so there's a lot of people over there. But I found this. These look like they're comping pretty high. This is a pearl snap, long sleeve plaid. Titleist by Corbin XL. This is a pullover. And there is some really, there's some really good, really good comps, really good comps on these. Um, so uh, this is only $4.50. Most of the shirts I'm picking up are $4.50, so. All right, so we just got done thrifting at the Goodwill and we, we got a lot of things that we got to talk about. And what are we about to do now, Casey? We're gonna eat somewhere. Where are we eating? Um, at Bob's, Bob Evans. <laughs> <laughs> and before we go eat, Dakota would like to share with you what she got at Goodwill. <laughs> Purple is her favorite color. We just arrived at the second Google location. We're gonna pop in here and see what we can find. <laughs> and uh, I don't have any footage from the second Goodwill because uh, one of my little girls had to use the bathroom. So we didn't record anymore. I grabbed a couple things and I left. And the first thing I'll show you is what I picked up at the second Goodwill. Leave a comment for me. Um, I would like to hear your opinions on some of these items and stuff that I've been picking up. So, uh, and give me your, your input on it. Uh, the first thing I picked up is this Seminoles purse. Kind of an odd thing for a team, I think, but it's brand new. Paid $4.49 for that. I think there was one signed comp that was like $150. Uh, but other than that, I'm not sure what I can get out of this, but it's got to be worth 450 right? Another thing to kind of be on the lookout for, a, a bolo, I guess you'd call it, if it does sell the way I hope it does. I'm not trying to give bad advice, but I think these could be good, is this, I've never heard of it before, but it's called the Ghost brand. These are, had an interesting logo, going for about 30 bucks it looked like. So I went ahead and picked this up, paid 229 for this. I think that was pretty good. I guess you can look out for that logo and the, the name Ghost. And the rest of these things I did pick up at the first Goodwill, but I'll glaze over them a little bit. Picked up these uh, Harachas. Harachas, I think is what they are. Uh, $7.99. These, I think, were going for $30 to $40, I believe. I guess you should check your shoes better than I do. But there's definitely uh, some damage to this one that I did not notice that was on this side right here. Looks like there's some kind of a wear spot in there. And there's one chunk missing out of the tread. So those aren't going to be worth much. Um, so just check your shoes. It happens to me all the time. I get into a rush and I don't check the shoe thoroughly enough when I get excited about finding something good. Lo and behold, it's not really sellable. Don't make this mistake and pick up shoes without checking them first. Next thing we got is this Kilner Butter Churner. Now it looks like this is not new. Yeah, so I just took a second to look inside of it and make sure everything was good to go since they had it all taped up at the Goodwill. And it looks like everything's good to go. It just needs a good cleaning. Looks like everything's here. Um, still got the little tag with it. And I paid $7.99 for the butter churner. All right, next up is a KitchenAid replacement bowl. This one is actually a K45 KitchenAid. Um, and it's got the little utensil on the inside. I pretty much knew I was going to pick this up. I only paid $4.99 for this. All right, so we're going to move on to some of these shirts I got here. Uh, I picked up this, this, this Eli Ellie Cattleman XXL plaid pearl snap. It looked like these were going pretty good. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's super clean. There's nothing wrong with it. I checked all the buttons. It has every button. I mean, it looks good. So I paid $4.50 for this. I think this should go for about $25 or so. Next up was this Titleist by Corbin XL Pullover. It has kind of like a netting on the inside. I guess that's to, for like cooling purposes, I guess. But uh, comps are pretty good on this exact one whenever I looked it up. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's a little bit dirty. It's definitely used, but it's not showing any real signs of wear. This should be really good. I'm glad I picked this up. Good size, XL, plaid. Who doesn't like plaid? Who doesn't like plaid? All right, and let me know if you guys have an opinion about this. But I did pick up a Abercrombie and Fitch number perfume number one. If it'll focus, I don't know if you can see that. But I picked this up. I wanted ten dollars for this. But when I looked it up, this stuff was going ridiculously high. So 
I went ahead and picked it up and I figure I can maybe get 50 out of this. It's about 60% I'd say. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not sure. This may have been a, a bad bad endeavor to uh, take on, but we'll see how it goes. Plus with shipping perfumes, I never shipped perfumes. I don't know if you have to do something special with them. I guess I'll have to look into it. Comment if you do know anything about that. Last but not least, the catch of the day is this massive rainbow trout salmon fish. It's really big. Um, comps were really good on it. I saw some that were kind of in every direction. It looks to be in pretty good shape. It's a giant stuffed toy. And I think they were going for like 40 bucks. I mean, I would like to keep something like this. This is kind of cool, but I will sell it if I if it's really worth it. And that's gonna do it for this video. I'm glad you stuck around to the end. If you wanna take a moment and check out the affiliate links that I have in the bottom in the description, uh, those are some of the supplies and stuff that I use to ship stuff on eBay. So if you're interested, you should take a look on those and just small, uh, disclaimer, I do make a little kickback on it, which is at no extra cost to you if you use the links to Amazon that I have provided you in the description. And that's going to do it. I really appreciate you guys watching and sticking around. See you on the next one.